I have been saying it. I need to get the flashback King Felix. And he is now on the squad. Finally, man, I got the number one guy for the starting rotation. I only had Syndergaard who was a diamond. And ever since Price went down to a gold, Syndergaard has been the only diamond starter I've got. Look at these stats, man. Some people might disagree. I think this guy is nasty. Absolute nastiness. The break, the velocity, the stamina, everything is good if you ask me. And not only that, the fielding is amazing as well. So if you get dribblers or just pop flies to King Felix, he's going to come up with that shit. And funny thing, the very funny thing of this game is the first time I was able to send King Felix to the hill, my opponent also had King Felix on the hill as well. And I'm not sure if he had the same flashback King Felix as me, but I don't know if it was the base King Felix, but this is King Felix versus King Felix, so I was thinking this was going to be a pitcher's duel from the very beginning. We will have to wait and see, won't we? First two guys I got coming to the dish, Ichiro and Barry Larkin. Can't get anything. Surprise, Barry Larkin. It's always a surprise when Barry Larkin can't get a hit. And then Beltre is coming up to the plate, and I'm going down via the strikeout of the heater up in the strike zone. And the first batter for this guy coming up, I'm getting on a line out to Crawford in left field. So... Yeah, man, I was looking to get this flashback King Felix ever since he was released into the game. And Jesus, I don't know if some people have seen some of the new flashbacks in this game. But the most recent guys who have been released, the flashback Tim Lincecum from oh, 09, I'm pretty sure. And he's a 97. That guy's pretty nasty as well. If you ask me, this King Felix is better than that Tim Lincecum. If, if you ask me, that is just my opinion, and Jesus Christ, man, the uh, 99 Troy Tulowitzki flashback Troy Tulowitzki as Fielder goes deep, that, is, that isn't even a surprise anymore either when Fielder goes deep, so we get on the board early in this game from the homer from Prince Fielder, but yes, that flashback Troy Tulowitzki, honest to God, man, I'm just going to come out and say it, that might be the best card in the game. If you haven't seen that card yet, go to the market and look for it because the hitting stats are ridiculous and the fielding stats are ridiculous. The guy has like 94, 95 fielding, might even be better than that, and the arm strength is 99. I need to get him. That might be the next guy on the lookout for the squad, man. I'm not even joking. Once I saw that guy, I was just like, Jesus Christ. I need to get this guy. I don't even care what I have to do. This guy is going to be on the squad. So that is definitely the next player I'm in the hunt for. I originally thought the flashback Carlos Gonzalez, I think it is, was the best card in the game after looking at that. But ever since I saw the flashback Troy Tulowitzki, Jesus, man, that, is, that card I almost threw up on the floor. Like I literally almost puked everywhere on the floor when I looked at that card. That is insanity. So the new flashbacks, Tim Lincecum and Troy Tulowitzki, are nasty. But like I said, if you ask me, that flashback, uh, Felix Hernandez, is much better than the flashback, Tim Lincecum. So I still got the one to zip lead. I am not getting much going in the top of the third right there. So now bottom of the third. I got a couple Ks with King Felix at the moment, I'm pretty sure. And he was still doing work, man. I know he doesn't have the fastest heater in the world. But this guy's got some nasty, I'm talking nasty off-speed pitches, man. That sweeping curve is just craziness, man. His curveball is insanity. His sinker is insanity. I don't know, man. Some people might think this guy isn't that good. But if you ask me, he this, this King Felix flashback is amazing if you ask me, man. I don't know. That is just my opinion, though. Some people might disagree. And I'm also a big fan of that guy in real life, too. I just had to pick... The flashback Felix Hernandez up when I saw him. Even though he was going for like 400,000 stubs when I first saw him. He's now dropped down to I think below 100,000 stubs. And yeah, he's going for a pretty decent decent price at the moment. So if you want to get King Felix and you've got some stubs to spend, I recommend picking this guy up. So Beltre goes deep to increase the lead in this ball game. So now we got the, what is it, 2-0 lead. And I'm threatening again, but I can't get much as I just ground out to end that inning as well. So King Felix is taking the hill again, and damn it, 
I wasn't playing the correct D right there, man. I should have got the corners in right there. He lays down the bunt to get his first hit of the game in the bottom of the fourth. So, 0-2 count. He's trying to bunt again with Marte. I'm pretty sure this one. Look at this guy. Trying to cheap his way into some fucking hits by laying down some bunts. But I get him on the K. And then a couple batters later, I'm able to get on a line out to end that inning. So, we're going into the top of the fifth. King Felix is leading it off. And he is getting it on the hitting action. Look at this guy sending one up the gut for his first base knock of this game. So King Felix is getting it on the hitting derby right here. Ichiro is coming up to the plate next and driving one to the left center gap. King Felix is, he is chugging his way around the bases, man. I wish that guy had some speed because I would have sent him home 100% if he just had a little bit better speed right there. And then Beltre is coming up to the plate after Larkin flew out, I'm pretty sure. This guy goes home, even though I wasn't sending Felix home right there. So I got the bases juiced for Tony Gwynn, but I can't cash in anybody right there. So this guy gets out of it unscathed, but it doesn't matter. I got the king on the mound, and he is doing what he does best. Wheeling and dealing, getting the first guy of the inning on the high fastball right there and then getting the next guy on the curveball down in the strike zone man that curveball is ridiculous and then the third out of the inning is coming from the ground out to Bogarts right there so we are going into the top of the sixth and I'm looking for more insurance right here Crawford has been MIA the past couple games but he's getting it on the hitting action right here sending one deep to left center and that one is leaving the yard as well so now I'm taking the three to nothing lead after that though this guy settles down this and then gets the next couple guys so we're going into the bottom of the sixth nobody out one two count i am getting a ground out to barry larkin right there and that is the first out of the inning so like i said before i don't even know how many k's i have up until this point with uh felix but i have quite a few i'm pretty sure at this point in the sixth inning anybody else other than felix hernandez right there probably would have ran that out no joke anybody else Probably would have ran that out. So there's two down now. Two, two count. What should I give this guy? The curveball was working. Also, the high heater was working. I'm going to the high heat again. And I'm getting another K. I only, I've only given up one hit up until this point. So if I was going to go this whole game, and the only hit that I was able to give up was that bun single, man, would I have been pissed. But getting into this inning now, looking for some more people to do some damage and who man Beltre is an assassin this guy is an absolute assassin at the plate goes deep again to take the five to nothing lead in this game now and then fielder is coming up to the plate and driving a single up the gut as well and then Gwyn is able to get in get another hit in this game too the hitting is coming in bunches as it usually does there is now one down Crawford is looking to do some more damage, sending one deep to center field. Not that deep, but pretty deep. For some reason, I'm tagging the runner at second base. I think I had who? Was that Beltre? That was either Beltre or Fielder at second base. I'm not really sure why I did that, but luckily I made it in. Yogi Berra coming to the plate and not able to get much. Just ground out to the second baseman right there. So now we're going into the bottom of the seventh. Still got, the, obviously, still got the 5-0 lead. And, oh, whoops. Whoops is all I could say when that shit happened. That was nowhere close to where I wanted it to be. The only mistake that was made up until this point from Felix. That was just <laughs> that was just a hang. That was literally a gift, man. A wrapped gift to this guy. That was just a hanging curveball right over the middle of the plate. So this guy gets on the board with, I think that was Starling Marte who hit his home run. But I'm able to settle down. As Felix does, settling down, getting the K, and then getting the ground out to Beltre on that shift right there. So we're getting out of that inning unscathed. Luckily, this this guy wasn't able to get a rally going or anything. He's got two hits now. So to be honest, that was actually kind of a sigh of relief because, like I said, if I was only able to, if I was only giving up that bun single in this game, I would have been pissed. But that guy goes deep, gets on the board, and then Xander Bogarts is getting in on the home run derby and sending one deep himself. So how many home runs is this game? Four or five at least. And then Barry Larkin is going down via the cave. Barry Larkin was struggling this game, which was which is always a surprise when Barry Larkin is struggling. King Felix back 
at it. Getting another K on that nasty curveball. Next guy coming up to the plate. Driving one to right field right there. But that is just easy work for Gwyn out there in right field. So this guy's running out of time, man. He's running out of time. Two down the bottom of the eighth. No surprise. Felix getting another K. So we're going into the ninth. This game is almost in the bag. This game is in the bag because Felix Hernandez wasn't giving anything to this guy. And I wasn't able to get anything in the top of the ninth as Gwyn just grounds out to end the inning via the double play. So bottom of the ninth, first guy coming to the plate, 1-2 count. He actually pinch hit Beltre right there and he's able to get the leadoff single. So is trouble brewing, you ask? Is trouble brewing? I'm able to settle down, get the next guy on the little dribbler in front of the plate for the first out. Next guy is coming to the plate. And I'm getting a swing and a miss on the low curve ball. And then I'm going back to the low curve ball and getting him to swing and miss again. So two down. He's down to his last out of the inning. Last strike or last out of the game and last strike of the game. I'm able to get yet another K. The debut for King Felix was just was just a slaughterhouse. This guy was going out there and just giving he was taking no prisoners. On the mound this game, King Felix with the 17 Ks. The home run was the only was the only downside of that game for King Felix. He is a monster.